Sheriff Mike Chitwood had strong words for the man who's accused of threatening to harm the family of Purdue University superfan Tyler Trent. And he says that the good will always outweigh the bad. All this 20-year-old wanted to do was, you know, through his life, leave a legacy that helped beats cancer. But Sheriff Mike Chitwood says 39-year-old John Pinkham tried to tarnish that by posting harmful Facebook messages targeting the mother of former student and Purdue University superfan Tyler Trent, who died of bone cancer last week. While you're dealing with this incredible grief, um, you know, they got this clown talking about he's going to make history and go up there and and do all these horrible things. Sheriff Chitwood says Indianapolis police notified them about the post on the Family Celebration of Life Facebook page and deputies picked it up from there, tracking the fake username and data to this house in Deltona. And they were able to ping the phone, go to the residence, and they encounter our bad guy and he's got the phone in his pocket. Deputies arrested Parkham, who was just released from prison in September. Authorities say he kept changing his story, never admitting to being behind the fake name or threatening messages. We don't have any indication that he had purchased an airline ticket or had weapons. We have none of that. Well, you're a 24-hour caregiver? Yes, sir. The public defender argued for Parkham's $10,000 bond to be lowered, but the judge denied his request. The overwhelming majority of us are great people who, who care for our fellow, our fellow man. And this young man wanted to leave a lasting legacy, and I think that we owe it to him uh, to try to help that come true. In Daytona Beach, Lauren Korn, News 6.